guys welcome to my channel I hope you're doing well today if you're new here hi my name's Karen and I'm so glad you clicked on this video I hope you would consider sticking around and subscribing and today I'm gonna do this eye look this has to do with the ColourPop uh-huh honey which <laughs> is it just me that wants to go like uh-huh honey like I have some like Daisy Dukes or something I went ahead and did this look for you guys I hope you enjoyed it and stick around ahead and get started um, I've already done my complexion my face my brows and so we're just focusing on the eyes today so if you haven't seen it this is what it looks like I'm sure most people have seen it but it's a beautiful all yellow let me turn it around so you don't blind get blinded it's beautiful so um, I will say that this middle shade here is getting quite a talk it's called Palooza. It's absolutely beautiful, but it's a pure glitter formula and it has on the um, thing on the back that it's not intended for use on the eyes. I've seen people use it and take their chances. I've seen people say no. I just feel like they have to legally do that, but yeah, I do think you need to be very careful because those are big chunks of glitter and, um, you know, they could cause some damage for your eyes. I'm not using that today, so I'm going to go ahead and get started and see what I come up with and just let you know if I forget, I'll put the um, shades on the screen for you. It has a very, very nice mirror. So let me go in and lay down, ooh, a little kick up, a uh, little bit of a neutral shade and put down just a nice base. I was so excited to get this and you know, ColourPop, you know, some people get annoyed by them because they're... Um, putting out so much and you know what just because they put stuff out doesn't mean you have to buy it all you know what I mean but I love it when a company like ColourPop is keeping things fresh and I think that they knew and they saw the trend which was a lot of yellow coming out it's what people wanted and it's already sold out it I don't know if I told you it um, sells for $12 for nine pan which I think is an amazing gel, and I love the ColourPop formula a lot. For the price, I don't think you can beat it. It, is, it has a little kick up, but you know, your end result is amazing, and I don't know where else you can get this kind of um, selection for the price. Another thing is, I'm just curious, what do you guys like more? Do you guys like more colorful um, eyeshadow looks or do you tend to like more neutral? I know the older we get, um, I think people tend to think that, you know, they shouldn't wear color like as if there's some, you know, rule for them to wear color and I just don't feel that way. I'm sorry. I don't. I feel like we're at the age where can't we do what we want to do? That's my opinion. I mean, I sometimes like neutral but then sometimes I like color as well. So. I don't feel like I should be put into a box, you know? Um, I feel like it should be what I feel comfortable with. And if I put this, you know, really dramatic eye on and I feel comfortable in it, then I should be able to wear it. But then if I do it and I'm like, cause everyone else is doing it and then I don't feel comfortable, then don't do it. You know, I feel like it should really be our choice, you know? I mean life's too short we should be able to you know wear what we want do what we want and if it brings you some kind of empowerment and you feel good about yourself then i say go for it but i just be curious because i have a few friends that just uh really stay away i'm building this color by the way it's called sweet spot um, but I have a few friends who really shy away from anything out of the ordinary and I'm not like that. I'm not. I get bored. I'm, I'm all for the yellow. I'm just saying. I just think it's amazing. But you know, if I told some of my friends, you know, oh, I'm wearing a yellow eyeshadow, they would be freaking out. You know, they'd be like, oh, okay, no, no, that's okay. Thank you anyways. You know, but like, hey, I'd also do orange and I'd also do neon pink and, you know, whatever color. So, you know, I don't know. 
I think I'm just that person. I mean, it's just makeup. It's supposed to be fun. You're supposed to be able to, you know, you can wash it off. It's not like you're getting it tattooed on your face, you know? So, what are you all thinking about the Jaclyn Hill debacle? I know I was talking with uh, Michelle from Cinnamon Girl Beauty uh, when she was nice enough to come to my town and we met up and did a little shopping and, and I had a great time with her, but we were chit-chatting about different things and we brought it up and I think we were both on the same page which is um, you know just gets in front of the camera and does the get ready with me and shows her skill I do think she has a lot of talent um, and it just makes me sad that something like that where she put out and if you don't know what I'm talking about Google it look into it and you figure it out because it's way too much but you know, it's sad that someone like her, you know, for whatever reason, bad advice, you know, someone taking advantage of the situation, whatever it is, it's just sad that it had to come to this. Um, I hope that things work out for her. And I do think she has the ability to um, have good products and make a really successful line, but she needs to rework whoever it is that's helping her and I think one of her biggest mistakes is that she didn't speak soon enough so that's all I'm going to say about that I felt like she needed to just own up and say something got screwed up I'm going to investigate I take all responsibility you know there you go but what a mess and I saw just the other day that um Lady Gaga is coming out with her uh, makeup line called um Haas Laboratories I love Lady Gaga. Okay, one thing I will tell you is that there's really not a shade that's darkening up this area very well. That that would be something I wish instead of this um, glitter, they could have put in like a little bit darker of a shade because that would have really been really helpful. But we're just going to go on. And apparently Lady Gaga's... Um, line is going to be through Amazon, which I found really super um, creative, innovative. So, I mean, I kind of feel like everyone does Amazon, you know? Let's do this shade. It's like a gold. Oh my goodness, it's like gold and like silvery green or something. Wow, that's a pretty one. It's called Sunburst. It sure doesn't look like that in the pan, but wow. That's very, very pretty. from that brown. I wonder what it would be like to put this lighter shade on my brow bone. Yikes, let's see. Creative. And uh, 
be willing to try things, you know? Worst case scenario, you get a Q-tip and wipe it off. Gosh, that is so pretty. All right, so I'm going to leave you for a minute. I'm going to put on some lashes, and then I'm going to finish out my lower lash line. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my lashes on. Today I have on the um, House of Lashes Iconic Lights. And um, I think that's all I did. And then a little bit of mascara, obviously. So I don't think I'm going to do any kind of wing liner just because I feel like, you know, doing the yellow is, you know, pretty bold. So I think I'm going to work on my lower lash line. And I'm going to take um, the more mustard yellow just on the tip and I'm going to take that brown wet that brush see if I can get it a little bit more opaque yeah I just feel like overall they probably could have used a little bit darker of a shade yeah that's about as dark as I can get it and that's even with wetting it with that color that I love that sunburst and put it in the inner corner and then I'm going to even take a little bit of it and run it right on the edge my lower lash line with a little bit of mascara. I'm so excited they came out with this. This is probably my, oh boy, sixth, seventh ColourPop palette. Love it. It is absolutely beautiful. I wish they would have just taken this away and I wish they would have put in just a little bit darker of a brown just to kind of deepen up those outside but um this is what I came up with totally fun I enjoyed it hope you did too and you know what don't be scared to do color I mean if it's something that you're interested in I say go for it enjoy it enjoy the looks you come up with highly recommend them i have several several um colorful looks on my um channel if you want to go back and look at some of them and um let me know what you prefer colorful looks or neutral looks because i want to do the looks that you would like as well so let me know what you would like to see from me and i'll see you in my next video bye guys <music>